Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your resume whenever you're applying for a nursing job. So let's get started. Here's an example of a completed nursing resume. So whenever you're going to design your resume, you wanna make sure that you pick a clean looking design, meaning that there's not a lot of distractions on the resume because you want the focus to be on what you have written. So make sure that the colors match, they flow really well together, and that the font is easy to read. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over all of these sections and give you some tips on what you need to include in it. And this is actually one of the premium resume templates you get when you buy my nursing job guide, which gives you tips on creating a nursing resume, cover letter, interview tips, and landing that nursing job. So first, let's start with the top, the header. The first thing I want to talk about is the name. So generally, you want to make your name prominent because as that manager is flipping through the resumes they've received or they're scrolling through the resumes, you want to make sure that your name jumps out at them so they take a little peek at your resume and say, hey, I want to interview this person. So include it somewhere at the top in a large font that's easy to read and you want to include your first name and your last name. Now if you have a common name, you may want to just go ahead and throw in your middle initial. And if you're going to be putting credentials with your name, for instance, let's say you have a BSN, be sure you put the BSN first and then after that, it's the RN credentials. And then next is the about me summary. And this is also sometimes referred to as an objective. So in this part, it's gonna be like a little paragraph. You're going to highlight yourself. So you wanna talk about the position you're seeking and summarize your talents and skills. Typically, it's about three to six short sentences. And here's an example of something you could say. Recently licensed nurse graduate with clinical experience seeking a nursing position on a medical surgical unit, possesses a strong drive to help others, has excellent communication skills and a strong focus on delivering excellent patient-centered care. Next is a picture. So this is totally optional. You don't have to include a picture on your resume, but if you do, it could help you stand out among the other people who have applied for the job. But if you do decide to include a picture, you wanna make sure that your picture is like a professional headshot and highlights you as a nurse. And then another thing you want to include that's close to all that information that we just went over is your contact information. So you want to make sure that is accessible by the nurse manager if they choose to give you a call and ask you for an interview. So with contact information, you want to include your phone number along with your email. Potentially you could include your location and a website or social media accounts that you use as like an employment marketing tool. Next up is education. So in this spot, what you're going to do is you're to highlight your highest level of education. So for example, let's say your highest level is a bachelor's degree. That is what you would put there. Typically, we wouldn't include your high school education because bachelor's is sufficient enough if that's your highest level. And whenever you're trying to arrange this, what you could put is you put the years you attended along with the degree you obtained, the name of the institution you went to along with their address. And also, if your GPA was high, typically about a 3.5 or higher, you can list your GPA. And then any honors you may re receive, like when you graduated, did you get magna cum laude, summa cum laude, so forth. Then the next section is the professional experience section. And here you wanna outline your work experience. So start with the most recent positions you've had. Now, if you're a new nurse graduate, you may be thinking, okay, I really don't have any nursing experience to list here. However, you do. In this section, you want to include your clinical experience from school. Therefore, include your clinical sites, any practicums, and be sure to include the type of clinical experience, your role, facility name, and your duties. And then next we have licensure and certifications. In this section, you want to make sure that you show your license to practice in the state that you're applying and make sure that your license number is easily visible. Now, if you're a new grad, you may be wondering, okay, I'm not licensed yet, so what do I do? Well, you can list your licensure as pending and write when you're taking the NCLEX exam. In addition to licensure, you want to add any certifications that pertain to the job. Many applicants, they like to include basic or advanced life support like BLS, ACLS, or PALS. 
Now the next sections I'm going to go over are completely up to you on if you want to include them on your resume or not. Because a resume is customizable. There's really not this like set in stone thing of what needs to be on the resume. Yes, the stuff we just went over, you definitely probably want to keep that on your resume. But the stuff I'm about to go over, it really depends on if you want to include it, does it make you look like a stronger candidate than the other applicants? One section is the reference section. So whenever you go to an interview, you're going to be bringing with you a copy of your resume. Plus, if you choose not to include the references, you definitely wanna bring a list of references with you. So it's optional. But if you do decide to do the reference section on your resume, you want to include the first and last name of the person who's your reference, their contact information, like a phone number, an email address, even an address if you want to, and your relationship with this person. So it's typically best practice to include professional references, like a preceptor, a clinical instructor, or some nursing coworkers. Another section you can include are skills. So this is where you can highlight your experience or skills that you've obtained as a nurse. So typically you want to include at least three to six skills that help you look qualified for that position you are applying for. So you list the skills and then you can even take it a step further and you can self-assess your skills, but you want to be completely honest with this. So you don't want to just give yourself all five stars because that looks a little biased. So throw some, you know, four, four and a half, five stars in there to make yourself look good. And you, of course you wouldn't want to put skills on there that you're like extremely bad at. Let's say you're horrible, maybe it's starting IVs because that's just not your thing, but you know you're going to get better on it after a while, but you wouldn't want to list that and give yourself a one star. That wouldn't look good. So focus on those things you're really good at. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're applying to a job as a cardiac nurse. Well, what are some things you could put if you have skills? Well, you could put ECG interpretation, um, cardiac drips, administering those, cardioversions, pacemaker care, balloon pump management, cardiac assessments, just something that really highlights you for that position you're seeking. And then lastly, some other optional sections you can include are like volunteer work you've completed in the past or any awards you've received. And then some people even like to include the desired salary or work schedule that they want. Okay, so that wraps up this video and I hope those tips help you with creating your resume.